serious? Are you serious? Well, this is Sunday, November the 17th, 2013, and weather is the issue. There's no question. We're going to be keeping a close eye on what's going on as the Midwest is under a tornado watch, high alert, including right where Pastor Begley is sitting right here in West Lafayette, Indiana. Matter of fact, the entire state of Indiana, parts of Illinois, northern Kentucky, and even eastern Ohio, uh, and maybe even southern Michigan. This is where it's happening. As the fronts are converging, it is setting up a scenario for the perfect storm. It's right now 64 degrees here on this Sunday morning, and it's not going to stay here. By uh, 12 noon, things are going to get a little darkened as the fronts begin to converge. And they're telling us around 3 o'clock in the afternoon, Eastern Time, there is conditions ripening for tornado activity. Now, it will even get more intense as the afternoon and evening comes in near sunset. I'm going to be uh, at my home church today, so I'm going to be driving 90 miles one way and 90 miles back through the heartland of, of Indiana. So don't miss our church service today. It's going to be powerful. It starts at 12 noon Eastern. It will be powerful. Then on the way back, I will be driving right through the uh, uh, through the heart of Indiana, through the cornfields of Indiana, and right where the storm is very high watch area. Pray for us that everything works out just great, that there's no tornadoes not only here in Indiana, but anywhere in America. Let's just pray this storm subsides and goes away. We will be keeping a close eye on it. But it's not just there. There's been a significant uh, situations developing, I, I understand, in um, uh, Saudi Arabia. They've been having some flooding over there that's uh, kind of really messing people up. They're not expecting it at all. And uh, so I want to thank uh, everyone that's been keeping a close eye on that, several. There's also been a 7.8 earthquake in the Scotia, uh, the Scotta Sea. The Scottish Sea. Matter of fact, there's been six major earth. I want to thank Mary Hertzing from Kansas City for that report. Actually, also, besides that 7.8 earthquake, uh, th there has also been a 7.8 uh, earthquake in the Caribbean Sea. There's been a... Uh, Several of them, folks. It's just crazy what's going on as the earth is shaking everywhere. Um, and I'm trying to get a handle on just how many of these uh, 7.8 is a massive earthquake. The question is, will it create any type of a tsunami situation uh, there in the Scotta Sea? I'm trying to find out right now if it will create a tsunami. So, uh, we're going to keep a close eye. Weather is the is the question today. I don't know what is going to happen today. We may have we've had a 7.8 earthquake in the Scotta Sea, and we've had a um, we are under tornado alert, big time, heavily uh, right here in Indiana for sure. Indiana is the target zone for a major tor tornadic activity. Is there a tsunami loose? Uh, from the earthquake, the 7.8, I'm just looking at it right now, 7.8 earthquake, Scotta C. Um, wow, folks, this is a big time quake. It's closest to the, uh, it's nearby cities would be 555 miles from uh, the South Sandwich Islands. Uh, it's about 900 miles from Argentina, 1,000 miles from Chile. Uh, it's about 741 miles from the Falkland Islands. So if you want to know where the Scottish Sea is. So we're going to keep a close eye on what that is. That is a huge earthquake. 7.8 Scottish Sea. I want to thank um, those of you helping me here. Hang on a second. I want to thank uh, Joshua for that report. Also John Henderson for that report. Also Wayne of Canada for that report. Uh, it's quite significant. 7.8 Scotta Sea. Did it create tsunamis? We don't know. Uh, and, and will there be tornadoes in Indiana or the Midwest? We don't know. But keep us in prayer. Keep everybody in prayer. This, I'm telling you, the Comet Ison 
coming in on the sun and the solar flare activity, I believe, is creating this really weird earthquakes. We've had significant earthquakes, flooding. Uh, we've seen torrential rains. We're seeing tornadic activity. We've had uh, typhoons, cyclones, and different things affecting the earth, and it may get worse the closer we go. There was also a, a 5.5 that kind of shook things up in Tokyo, halting the trains and making people nervous already at Fukushima. And earlier there was a 6.9 in the Scottish Sea. So this thing is really getting concerning here right now. Uh, it's, it's really shaking things up. I'll give you all the information at my live show tonight. Don't miss it. From 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern at www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. That's www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. From 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern. It's called Sunday Night Live. That's providing. We're not hit with some major storms. We're predicting 65 mile an hour winds right where I'm sitting, which could knock power out. Providing everything's okay. We'll be live right here. Sunday Night Live. And we will give you a full rundown on all the earthquakes and is there any tsunamis and what about the tornado situations in the Midwest would we'll cover it all. The Bible says in the last days there will be wars and rumors of wars and nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom and there will be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in divers places. And all of these are just the beginning of sorrow. Give your life to Jesus Christ. We are living in the last days. Something biblical is going on with the signs of the second coming of Christ. Are you serious? 